FAQ number 112. This is going to be the last one I'm going to do. Uh, from here on out, I'm just going to have videos like I did back there in December. Uh, answers to your questions. You can just write your questions in the comment section. I'll probably do it maybe every other month. Not sure how it's going to go yet. We'll see. But uh, if you have any other questions, that'll be the time to answer, ask them. I'm not going to do any more FAQ videos. 112 is going to be good. And I ended on that number for a specific reason. Because there are 12 tribes um, in the nation of Israel. And there's only one nation of Israel. So you have one twelve. So, uh, But what does it mean to support Israel? Okay, because I've said that and people go, he supports wicked Israel. Oh, he supports everything that they do. No, 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 no. <laughs> It doesn't mean when I say we support Israel, we support the Jewish people, it doesn't mean they're t totally sinless and I don't ever judge them or rebuke them. I'll show you what it means. Romans chapter 11, um, verse 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. They haven't fallen in terms of God's totally done with them. Verse 12. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? People say, well, there's no scriptures that say that the Jews are going to come back. and You just read one. These, you know, replacement theology nuts can't read plain English. It's kind of funny. Verse 16, For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy, and if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, wert graft in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Okay, in other words, you're not supposed to speak against that nation of Israel. Right, in terms of of calling them wicked and satanic and all this other stuff. Uh, we wouldn't be saved if it wasn't for the nation of Israel and the Jewish people. This book is a Jewish book. Our Savior is a Jew. So be very careful what you say about the Jews as a people. Now you can say that individual Jews are sinners. That's true. But to start attacking the Jews and saying they're the synagogue of Satan and they're wicked and we should just destroy them and whatever else. No, no. You don't do that. Uh... Verse 19, Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief they were broken off. And thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. Well, this is a very serious warning here. For if God spared not the, the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold therefore the goodness and severity of God on them which uh, fell severity, but toward thee goodness, if thou continue in his goodness. Otherwise, thou also shalt be cut off. Okay? Now, people, there's debate on this thing back and forth. And they say, what does this mean? Does this mean you're losing your salvation? You're cut off? Does this mean your nation is cut off from God's blessing? Well, there's debate. You can debate that thing back and forth. I've talked about that in other studies. But the, the deal here is God has a specific purpose and plan for that nation of Israel. So when I say I support Israel, what I'm saying is... The Jews gave me this book, the Jewish people, the nation of Israel. They gave me the book. My Savior is a Jew. So why then would I turn against the Jewish people and say, yeah, let, let the Arabs go in there, free Palestine. A Christian would never wear a shirt that says free Palestine. Know what I mean? They would never support the Arabs pushing those Jews out of Israel. When I say I support Israel, I say I support their right to be in that land. And I'll take it one step further. I do not support the Arabs. No Arab, Palestinian in other words, none of them have a right to that land. They should be pushed out. If I had rule or something over the world, I'd push every single Arab out of that nation of Israel and give it to the Jews. Only Jews can live here. Sorry. Anybody else? Get out. You're not allowed to be there. Pope, trying to put up your throne there in, in Jerusalem? Sorry. Out you go. That's what I'd say. That's what I mean when I'm saying I support Israel. I do not support the fact that, that sodomy is legal there. I do not support their wickedness. I do not support the rabbis that hate Jesus. I don't support them. But I support their right to be in that land. 
prophecy in the end times is about geographic land. All these people come out, we're the true Jews, we're the true Jews. I'm a white man, I'm a, I'm a northern European, so I'm a true Jew. Then get over to Israel because it's about land. I'm a black African, I'm a real true Jew. Okay, then get to, then get to Israel. Don't fool around in the streets of New York or in the streets of, of wherever, England or something like this, run in your mouth that you're a true Jew. It's about land. It's about physical land. And all these arguments that they come up with to prove that the blacks are the, are the true Jews or the whites are the true Jews or whatever else, not one of them is going to go back and fight for that land in Israel. That's how you know they're false. That's how you know that they're the synagogue of Satan. The promises God made are physical land in the time of Jacob's trouble. So do not be deceived by this, this replacement theology nonsense, no matter who it comes from. 